Hello church family, happy Friday. I am bringing you a word of encouragement today and I hope you've been enjoying this week of all the ladies who have been sharing words of encouragement as we lead up to Mother's Day and we're getting closer. Mother's Day is right around the corner. So today my word of encouragement is going to be sharing a little bit of my experience and my journey to becoming a mom and a verse that has been really encouraging to me along the way. Um, a couple of the other ladies have touched on um, the fact that Mother's Day is not a happy day for everyone, or sometimes it's a bittersweet day. There are things to celebrate and things to grieve at the same time. Um, I know some women are, um, they've lost their moms or they're estranged from their moms, and um, that's a, a difficult relationship. That has not been my experience. My mom is um, a wonderful lady. She is amazing. And if there's anyone out there, I have offered this to a couple people before, I am willing to share my mom. So if you need a good listening ear and a comforting hug, you can give my mom a call. I'm happy to share her with you. Um, but there are a lot of ladies who have experienced miscarriage or infertility or loss along the way of some kind and um, that is part of my story so um, I've known several women who even had a hard time coming to church on Mother's Day because it was such a reminder of what they had lost or what they didn't have yet and what they were longing for. So um, if you know me and you know my story at all, you know that my journey of becoming a mom was a very bumpy road and we experienced a lot of loss and um, that was a difficult time. Um, so for those of you who are experiencing that, I know there's even a couple within this past week who um, are are experiencing that and so just so you know I am I understand how you feel I am grieving with you I am praying for you and I know that there are times when that can feel overwhelming it can feel like too much to handle so um, during my last pregnancy we um, found out that our baby had trisomy 18 and she would most likely not survive and so we prayed and had many people praying with us during that time um, for healing for that baby and God's answer was no. Um, and sometimes God's answer is no. Um, but I feel like that was not the end of his answer and here's the encouraging part is that that was not the end of his answer. I feel like God gave me this verse during that time and I'm going to read it for you. It actually inspired our baby's middle name of Grace. Um, here's the verse. This is 2 Corinthians 12, 8 through 10. And this is Paul talking about a thorn in his flesh. Before this, he had been talking about um, not boasting and that he had a thorn in his flesh. And this is what it says, 2 Corinthians 12, 8 through 10. Paul says, three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And, you know, Paul was talking about not being conceited. And some people have different theories about what the thorn in his flesh was specifically. And it doesn't really matter. The point is that... He had something that made him feel weak and he prayed for God to take it away and God's answer was no, but God's answer also brings glory to him to say, when you're struggling with something that feels overwhelming, my grace is enough for you. And when you are feeling weak and like you just can't handle it, I am strong. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. I will be glorified because my strength will be evident to those around you. So there have been times when people have said to me, and that in the losses that we've had, and also in the, the journey of foster parenting, which is a roller coaster all of its own, there have been people who said, oh, I, I couldn't do what you've done. I, I couldn't live through what you've lived through. But the fact is, you can. You, you can. If God calls you to it, he will give you the grace and the strength to get through it because with God, we can do anything. So if you've ever prayed a prayer and you felt like God's answer was no, 
or even not yet. And I feel like not yet is harder to deal with because then there's the waiting. Well, if it's not yet, then when is it? And in this mm -hmm. today's society, when a, you know, a web page that doesn't load fast enough drives us crazy and we just can't wait, sometimes waiting on God's answer can be even harder. But maybe your struggle has nothing to do with motherhood. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's just when is this quarantine going to end? And God's answer is not yet. And that's driving us crazy. Maybe it's becoming a mom. Maybe it's um, dealing with chronic pain or healing in a relationship or finding a spouse if you're single and you've prayed for that and God just hasn't given that to you. His answer has been no or not yet. Maybe it's finding a job, especially now. If God's answer is not yet. Um, the waiting can be crazy and there are times when we can feel overwhelmed but God gives us that verse just like he says to Paul my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness so even if God's answer to your prayer has been no or not yet and you're still waiting when you feel like you're just gonna lose it God gives you his grace and when you feel like you're weak and you just can't handle it God gives you his strength um, one more thing that I want to mention today is part of the pray through May and today's prayer focus is praying for those who don't yet have the hope of Jesus. So if you one who is going through a difficult time, someone who's struggling with, with a situation and they don't yet have the hope of Jesus, they don't yet have the grace that God offers and the strength that God offers to make it through situations. I would just encourage you to pray for that person today. I hope you have a blessed week.